Y'all, do y'all think uh, Erica went to Dashcon? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Rory would go too. Yeah, uh, yeah. Do you, think Rory, do you think Rory's a brony? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Do you, do you think you went to Las Pegasus? <laughs> Man. Man. I think I think his biases. <laughs> his biases are a... He likes Applejack. He likes Applejack. For sure. He relates on a spiritual yeah, level. Yeah, he really likes Applejack. He also and likes Pinkie, Pinkie Pie. Pie. <laughs> oh! oh um, um, didn't see uh, you there. <laughs> hey. hey! Hey! Welcome to the Vampy <laughs> Wampy Campy podcast. Where we vamp and, and you, you camp. camp. <laughs> In the vamp camper. In the vamp camper. Woo! She's a girl. This episode, we're gonna get into Doug the Vampire Hunter. Yes, <laughs> season Doug the Bounty one. Hunter. <laughs> Doug the Bounty Hunter, season one, episode six. I am shy, Shay Mars, or geriatric, self-diagnosed, or just a piece of dirt. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I am Steph. Uh, the one who posted about uh, Benny and Rory smoking weed on Tumblr. <laughs> and I've eaten too much garlic bread. I'm Sav Quartz, uh, Manlight Derogatory, or Primordial Chaos. <laughs> and, and you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> Where do you made that joke? We, Sorry. We've had so much bread this morning. Oh, we went God. to the store really and bought store. like $20 worth of bread. <laughs> and then yeah. have just been eating bread. Yeah. <laughs> we bought two loaves of bread. Three, actually. Three loaves of bread and a box of donuts. <laughs> so, and tortillas. And tortillas. We are feeling... We are jazzed. We are zazzed <laughs> off the carbohydrates right now. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. A little plot synopsis of this episode. Doug... The Vampire Hunter, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Buffy the Vampire <laughs> Slayer, is that Doug Falconhawk, their favorite TV show Ghost Finder, uh, <laughs> comes to town to spend a day with them, and Ethan yeah. tries to hide the secret that vampires and the supernatural are real from him as he actively hunts them. Yeah. So what did we think of this episode? I thought it was very funny. <laughs> uh, this is one of my favorite episodes. <laughs> yeah. This is actually the lowest rated episode in the entire at least in season one, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And right. I mean by low by lowest rated I mean it has like maybe like it's like a like a seven point five instead of like oh. an eight. Oh. Which is like all the episodes are like an eight out of ten, like ratings wise on yeah. IMDB. But this one's like just a little bit lower. Yeah. Why? <laughs> I think people forget it exists. Oh. I feel like people, and then also, um, maybe they didn't understand what the show was trying to do. It's like a, they're trying to parody all of the like reality TV kind like, of schlock that had like become so popular. Ghost hunters, ghost adventures, ancient aliens. Yeah, all of those like History Channel reality TV <laughs> shows. They're like kind of trying to parody and like make fun of those, which yeah. is great. I have a little theory. I... If I can get into my theory yes. real quick. Get into your theory. Okay. Well, it's like it's a kind of a common knowledge thing that people discuss, where it's like the rise in reality TV shows on channels other than just like MTV and, and, and like e. TLC and stuff. Yeah, is like is the fact that of the um, you guys know about the Writers Guild like protests yeah. into like two thousand seven, yeah. two thousand eight. That was the years, right? Yeah. Yeah, and like the late two thousands, because of that, a bunch of shows got like. I, you know, the production got, like, pushed back and uh, lost a bunch of money it through it. Stopped it definitely. stopped, like, TV show production for, like, a lot... For a good, like, two weeks. Yeah, and so that, is. like... That was, like, a really big loss for, like, the networks. And so their response to that was, like, well, it's, well, we'll just make shows that don't need writers then. Or just like, at least one writer who can, like, make a rough script outline and then we can just shoot reality TV. Yeah. It was, like, the way to keep the budget really, really low. And it was really popular, so people were willing to watch it. So, like, that's how you get shows... Channels like the History Channel, which would never even touch reality TV, all, all of a sudden yeah. being like, let's get some reality TV in here, guys, because <laughs> it's like way cheaper than like making a full documentary and hiring historians and editors and stuff. <laughs> and actual writers. Yeah. And paying our workers. Properly. Yeah, that's like literally what it was. Paying our workers living wages. <laughs> and so a lot of these like reality TV show, like ghost show stuff are just like real bad. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of them are not good. Yeah. And just, like, kind of fill time, you know? So I think this episode's kind of parodying that. So I kind of enjoy that they're able to, like, comment on the state of... The state of television. Yeah, well, because, like, this this whole show feels... This whole show feels like a uh, Twilight kind of, like, response, almost. Not like a response, but, like... Not like a... 
uh, by sisters <laughs> video. <laughs> like, he who Twilight would say they're being hunted by a human. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, that's it. That was yeah. my rant. <laughs> yeah. Go on. <off>. Uh, <laughs> I feel bad for Rory this episode. Yeah, yeah. we under, and it's like it's like justified this yeah, time. At like, least it, it is justified, but I still feel bad that he's always just like, oh, you need to go do this, but like just just tell him that he's actively trying to kill you. Yeah, yeah. I like how well, none of the... he did kind of, he's but like, he just didn't care. Rory uh, was just like, no, I was a geek before I was the uh, Lord of the Night. Or he whatever. like doesn't yeah. believe it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he, he was like looking at this as an opportunity to be with Doug instead of like. For yeah. prioritizing his safety. Yeah. yeah. I almost choked on my spit, sorry. Uh, I was going to say, it's like, um, I like how none of the vampires are taking this guy seriously. You know? yeah. Like, he's just some TV show personality. Yeah. Like, he's not actually going to harm us. Which, also, by the way, can I say, this brings into question, just like, because of some casual comments that, mm -hmm. maybe some lazy writing, it like, kind of brings the, the vampire lore into question. Yeah. So, like... There's a few things I noticed where I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, like, would that dagger, or, like, what is that? Like, a crossbow? Yeah, he had, like, a crossbow. Would that crossbow even kill a vampire? Is it, like, a special crossbow, like, made of wood or something? Because, maybe, like... Like, maybe what it's shooting is made of. Because I know they can't show one of the characters being stabbed or yeah. anything. Yeah. But, like, if it's just a normal, like, arrow, it's, it's gonna, they're, they're gonna be able to heal from it. Because yeah. we know that vampires heal in this show. Maybe it's, like, encrusted with, like, holy water or something. <laughs> yeah, like, there has to be some sort of explanation as to how it or would like actually harm them. like, he dipped it in, like, garlic or something. <laughs> <laughs> he dipped the tip I would garlic. like to think that it was wooden. Because, like, a wooden yeah. stake can, can kill a vampire. Yeah. We know that. So it's, like... So maybe it was just, like, wooden arrows? Like, that would make sense. Yeah. But... And then, yeah. um, like, another thing, but I, like, caught myself, like, slipping on, like, what... Because I'm like, wait a second. Like, he's trying to prevent her from... You know, showing being like, make sure he doesn't catch Sarah on camera saying yeah. he's hunting a vampire. I'm like, but wouldn't she like not show up on camera? Yeah. But then at the same time, she's a fledgling, so, so she, she still kind she still of like would. flickers. Yeah, she would like yeah, because we saw in the last episode, which you didn't mention, yeah. and she was in the mirror. She was flickering. Yeah. Oh, that was what I was gonna mention. We're we've skipped episode five for now because we're saving it for a special occasion. <laughs> yeah. For the... and that's that's all I'll say on that. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're saving it for a special occasion. Special occasion. So it'll it'll, it'll be out soon, but yes. for now we're talking, of, we're, we're skipping over episode five. Yeah. So. So this so. is. The other thing I wanted to mention is kind of like, I guess the B plot, which is the that. Plot. The B Sorry. plot. Sorry. <laughs> the B plot? Is that Sarah has a new blood substitute. Benny's grandma made her a new blood substitute and yeah. it's bad. It's, <laughs> it sucks. It's, it's not good. It's good awful apparently yeah and mm. this is another thing it said it causes sleep drooling that's but, just normal yeah like first of all drooling is like that, that's normal right I yeah mean, like like it's not yeah. weird for someone to drool is it because like because <laughs> <laughs> like a um. <laughs> um but they don't sleep vampires don't sleep yeah yeah that's Oh, they don't yeah. sleep in this show. Well, maybe Sarah still <laughs> oh. does because she's like oh maybe like a fledgling. That's show. true. Yeah. Do, yeah, they don't. They never mentioned a fledglings and sleep like, or not. And then they like brought up, I think, with Rory that vampires don't need to eat. So yeah, they don't need to eat food at so all. They does just Sarah need blood. Ju so does Sarah just not need to eat anymore now that she's a fledgling, or can she also eat human food? Or like they can eat human food, but it literally does nothing for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like. Yeah, but like with Sarah specifically, since she's. Like yeah, does she also need human food to survive? Yeah, yeah that's a question. Because the only thing they've really, like, established is that fledglings can't fly. Yeah. They they can't fly, but they can, like, do they have the super strength? They have to drink blood? They have to drink blood. Well, because, like, you're not supposed to be a fledgling for more than, like, a, a oh, month. yeah. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. So, like, so like that's, that's probably why there's, like, not much known about it. Yeah. The fact that she's basically a fledgling for, like, a year. She's basically... A, pay, a case study. Yeah, yeah. She would be definitely, like, something that they would have to, like, observe. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's that's quite interesting. Yeah. yeah. And then, then I'm just like, so, like, if a vampire like Rory does eat, where does that food, like, go? Yeah, because they won't, they don't have to use the bathroom, I'm assuming. Yeah. Because if they're like, just drinking blood, it's like. Yeah, that. That doesn't, yeah, they don't have, <laughs> they don't have, like, normal human anatomy anymore, yeah, right? Yeah, like, sure, they still have, like, the organs, but it's just sitting there? Like... I don't think their organs work anymore. Yeah. I think they have a whole new anatomy. Yeah, because they're, like. Because, like, their body's, like, dead. Yeah. So, yeah. like, where does the food go? Yeah. 
Where's your mom? Go? When they Sorry. do eat food. <laughs> yeah. Is it is it like a um, Steven Universe where they have to make a digestive tract <laughs> to eat human food? Oh yeah. Maybe. I don't. I don't know. That, that's a good question. I guess it is implied that they just they just use. It's like they didn't think about it, so it's just like yeah. they just use the bathroom. It's they're yeah. just humans, like because they keep forgetting that they're vampires. Yeah. Like in this episode, we see a lot of them like doing their like vampire running, yeah. and we hadn't seen like in a lot of other episodes. Like they're yeah. not like I like the casualness of them just being like, okay, I'm gonna leave now, and then them like vampire <laughs> running away. Yeah, which I, yeah, I, and then Rory throwing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was Benny. Oh, I mean, yeah, Benny. he like he like full on like threw Benny across like a an alley, oh, which is good. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, this isn't the first time we've seen Rory like float. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. He when he's he excited, was... he kind of like starts Sorry, levitating. He was like zooted in the beginning. <laughs> of episode. Yeah, yeah. I did like that. Uh, there was a lot more vampire running. Like they, they actually are vampires. This episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because Erica will talk about. Like, Erica yeah. talks about it all the time, but this is like the first few times we've seen like Rory and Sarah do it again. Because yeah. like Sarah's trying to hunt for rats in the cemetery. Yeah. yeah. And she's complaining about she, like this fake blood. Yeah, she kicks a man. Like... She kicks a man halfway across the <laughs> <Yeah>. room. <laughs> yeah. And Ethan's like, did you have to kick him so hard? <laughs> oh, yeah, we should talk about the LARPing. Oh, yeah, LARPing. In, a, in, a, in a second, in a second. Okay. Because yeah. then, like, yeah, you get to see uh, Rory using his powers. Like, he floats in the first like, couple minutes, and then he runs. You see him running a lot, like, vampire yeah, running. I appreciate that. Yeah. And then he throws Benny. <laughs> in the uh, Vervain. Oh, so the this, Vervain. This yeah, proves that, that was funny. So this also proves that Vervain is something... Yeah. That harm harms vampires. Yeah, because yeah. Rory just like fell <laughs> off his chair. He prat falled. Yeah. When uh, <laughs> when Benny Not pulled the it out. Fall. Yeah. When when Benny had, it. but he just had it with him. Did Benny have it the whole time? Maybe. So like, would Rory not sense it? I don't know. Maybe because he like pulled it out of his bag. Yeah. yeah, so like, did he just have it in his bag and had Rory not know before? Maybe. It doesn't matter. It's a, it's a gag. It's a funny <laughs> it's joke. It's fine. It's a hee hee funny joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, you. <laughs> so the LARPing, the LARPing, they were so confident about they it. They were too. so into it. I like how I like how casual it is. They don't make it such a big deal yeah. because LARPing was very much like a thing in the it, yeah. in the twenty tens. Like it was like a thing that people would talk about. They'd be like, "Did you hear that?" Like t- teenagers are going around pretending that they're in a video game, but Wasn't in real that life. Mentioned in like a episode of jesse before yeah like stuff like that like all the shows were kind of like talking about this like weird fandom (laughs) internet culture (laughs) (laughs) yeah but i think um i think this show was the one to really do it like and not be super cringy yeah like any of the embarrassing things are like on purpose like you're laughing with the show and not at it you know at least that's in my how i feel like it's not making fun of larping or larpers but it's just like yeah, like the characters yeah. are kind of making fun of it, yeah. but it's like like they're acknowledging how but, goofy it kind of yeah. is. But at the same time, you know this is stuff they do on the weekend. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's like they're they are nerds, that's and so what that's why the backyard why... cage was for. <laughs> exactly yeah. the backyard cage, yeah. which I would love to see again. I know we never do. Uh, Craig, hide <laughs> your ears. Spoiler: We never see the cage again. <laughs> But I wish we would see the cage again at least once. Yeah. In the finale, they do a bunch of references back to like older episodes and stuff which is kind of cool but we didn't see the cage sadly. yeah the cage is my favorite character <laughs> yeah <laughs> for the show the cage we got a snuggie we got oh, a snuggie, yeah. the snuggie. yeah I, they didn't say snuggie i bet because of like copyright yeah but you know it's yeah she know. was like is this some sort of blanket with, with sleeves, sleeves. <laughs> we all know what that was yeah, yeah a bunch of shows were talking about the snuggie at the time like uh every um, commercial was talking about the snuggie yeah the there's probably when this show aired there's probably a commercial for the snuggie yeah immediately after like, yeah <laughs> but uh like in iCarly they do a parody of the snuggie yeah. commercial with the sack yeah, yeah. is that just unlock the memory <laughs> Because that's like a season three, not se- like a season four joke. Yeah. And so it's like you can't. It's not in the uh, on Netflix. So I haven't like seen it in a mm. while. But it's not on Netflix. No, it's the only seasons one through three. Oh. Seasons uh, four through six aren't it's of iCarly. Yeah, it's on other streaming services. Is it like on Paramount or something? Yeah. <laughs> Quite upsetting. But I guess like most people don't even like 
anything past season three and, oh. and don't even remember yeah. episodes past that. So I remember the episode where the Pawn Stars came on as oh, guests. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Pawn Stars. The Pawn Stars episode of uh, iCarly. Do you remember the, the reality TV show on Pawn the History Stars. Channel, Pawn Stars? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, they, had, they were on iCarly. Yeah. yeah. That that gets us that gets us back on track. Yeah, uh, reality, reality TV. TV. <laughs> How do we feel about the actual ghost show itself? Um, it seems like it's like clearly they're making fun yeah. of like um because yeah. like they have like does... the weird like up close camera on like the, oh, the, the yeah. shitty. Oh, I appreciate whenever he tripped over the trash. And <laughs> yeah, it's <just laughs> like whoa. <laughs> whoa. I appreciate like the the shaky like uh, night Found vision cam. And... Yeah, like, it's like, there was, you could honestly could, like, casually be scrolling through television yeah. in, like, 2011 and find a show like that, just, like, playing. Yeah, I literally. would be watching a show like that. Yeah. yeah. You said you were really into... I was really into Ghost Adventures. I was a when Zach Bagans stan. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Same here. I was... And then once uh, Shy got me into BuzzFeed Unsolved, man. <laughs> and, like, even That's shows like what that. what it reminded me of, like... Like, this was Bu- BuzzFeed and Solved, but worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, those shows at least had a little bit air of quality, because yeah. they did, like, some investigative stuff, you know? Yeah, like, but, like, there were a lot of shows that was literally just, like, entirely, like, reality TV. Yeah. We're in this yeah. house that may be haunted. Like, there, I remember this activity. one. <laughs> yeah. Like, stuff like that. I remember this one show, and I don't want to, like, diss on any, like, psychic mediums or anything, but mm-hmm. one of the hunters from Ghost Adventures... And then this other girl, she was a psychic medium who had her own show. They went together to make their own ghost hunting show. Yeah, yeah. And it was just a bunch of, like, breeded shows. Yeah, like, oh, did you see that? Did you guys ever see that Jenny Nicholson video she did about an HGTV, like, ghost hunting show? Sounds familiar. Because it was, like, it was the ghost... I don't know if you guys have even seen the show. It's a ghost hunting show, but it's also, like, a house repair show. What? So they'd be, like... Is this thing actually ghosts, or is there just like something broken in the house? And so they would have like a medium come in, yeah. the host who's a ghost hunter, and like like a, a huh. electrician, <laughs> and the, oh. and the guy would be like, so you said that your 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 door is opening and closing randomly at times and she's like yeah and he's like well the latch is broken here so that's probably <laughs> why but then a medium will come in and she's like i sense around three or four spirits in this house yeah. <laughs> and you're like um uh, <laughs> I, i've never watched that show but that sounds familiar i probably watched that video yeah first. yeah so that's like <laughs> that's what a lot of these shows were at the time yeah. so oh and that reminds me that reminds me so, a, a, a way that Ethan gets them not to go to the graveyard, because he's like, we're going to go hunt out at the graveyard, and like, he like, knows that no. Sarah, yeah, yeah, he knows that Sarah's going to be there trying he's to hunt like, rats. Sarah's looking for her Capri Sun. Yeah, <laughs> for her packs, her juice boxes of, of vampire blood. Yeah. And so, he's like, no, we can't go, because my house is haunted. <laughs> and, 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 um... And Benny Benny's was like... offended. Yeah, Benny was like, I can't believe you never told me your house was haunted. And I'm like, it kind of, and I know, like, he says that as, a, as like, a, as a yeah. lie, but, like, it kind of is. It actually is. Did yeah. we forget in the movie that it's a vampire burial ground in his backyard? <laughs> oh, yeah. Jesse's entire flock of yeah. vampires his is entire, buried in his, his backyard. His cult? His cult. <laughs> Jesse's yeah. cult is literally, they all died in his backyard. Yeah. It used to be an orchard. So, of course it's haunted. So it is haunted. Yeah. Did everyone forget about that? Because... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think so. I think they all did. Well, I guess because like they're, they were vampires. Jesse's cult. <laughs> the song it's Jesse's cult. Jesse's girl. It's Jesse's cult. <laughs> to the tune Jesse's of Stacey's cult. <laughs> Jesse's cult <laughs> has got it going on. <laughs> it's all I want. I've been waiting Wait, for so, so long. long. It's from the point of view of Gordon. <laughs> We can't. We have to stop referencing things that we haven't mentioned. <laughs> Jesse's cult is uh, or Jesse's gourd. <laughs> Jesse's gourd. gourd. So Jesse's girl. Jesse's gourd. <laughs> yeah. That's why he wants Sarah. He's like trying to like pretend that gourd is still alive. <laughs> we, we can't get into it now because we have we talked. We were supposed to talk about the story when we talk about the movie. Oh. So yeah, we'll we can't. get into it. We'll we get keep into it later. teasing it. We keep teasing the. Craig, if you were listening, we're so sorry. <laughs> Yeah, hey Craig, uh, just just stick with us, okay? <laughs> Is that just keep listening, please? Just please don't stop listening. We need the engagement. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to get those clicks and views and engagement. <laughs> We're trying to get 
Yeah. <laughs> Watch time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you just want to talk about some bad jokes? Uh, yeah. yeah. What are some bad oh, jokes? Oh, I liked the exchange between Erica and Sarah, where Sarah made a Star Trek reference. Yeah. And then Erica's like, Did you? Did you just make a Star, Star Trek, Trek reference? reference? And then Sarah's like, like, But you just recognized it. Yeah. yeah. And she's like, Uh, anyways. <laughs> I like the leave. one at the end of the episode where <laughs> Benny's like, Everything I believed in. Was, was a wig. wig. <laughs> I, I need that as a reaction video. Yeah. A reaction pic to send to people. <laughs> Everything I ever believed in was a wig. <laughs> or like, like a screenshot of him like taking off the wig. <laughs> <laughs> Doug like taking off the mullet. <laughs> I need wig a... snatched. <laughs> That's really great. <laughs> Another... Well, there was a bad joke I remember. I don't know if it counts as a bad joke, for it, but Ethan, they're in chemistry class, and Ethan goes up to Rory and he's like, I think uh, Doug really needs a lot to Doug at the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Can you uh, text that to me yeah. so I have it? Text her. You send it to the chat. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, Rory's like, What's a latte? Yeah. And, then, and then later on, Rory comes back. He's, he's like, like, it's a type of coffee. Yeah, he hands, he looks over at Ethan. He's like, it's a type of coffee. The joke with uh, the undead detector. Oh, yeah. And they're like, something's near. And then Rory's like, hey, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I like the cash. Like, this, is, this is what I want from the show. Because yeah. I said I hate how dramatic and like drama filled a lot of these vampire shows are. But this one is really funny, and they're they're willing to be very casual with their like supernatural abilities. Yeah. So yeah. like Rory just casually being like, "Yo," and then like Yo. some de- some like detective being like, "Bing <laughs> bing bing." It's really and funny. And Ethan to me. having to yeah having to like break it. <laughs> or like, like, oh no, it's broken. <laughs> yeah. Or the fact that like, it like Doug, I think Doug was like, "Bummer, yeah. bummer, bummer." Yeah. <laughs> or just like in general, the fact that uh, like Sarah's drinking blood out of like a, a, a juice, juice box. box. It's, it's like, like a very... little cardboard box. Yeah, I love I love a good contemporary. Oh, yeah. I, I like Eric, Eric, I like how that implies that uh, Grandma Weir um, packs the juice boxes. Yeah, like like makes her own juice boxes. <laughs> it's clearly Honestly? it was like a branded juice box that they had yeah. to put like cardboard over. Crafting Queen. <laughs> we love her. <laughs> what are you gonna say about oh, Erica? Um, Erica. I think it was when Sarah first showed up and she was drinking the juice box and Erica's like, what, did you turn 11, 11. last night? <laughs> yeah, the- she's used to packing nerd lunches. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. It's really funny. That was good. It's a good, it's a good prop. Yeah. I like the prop. Yeah. This episode was a good episode. Yeah, it's I, honestly yeah. pretty good. Like, I, I always used to say that this is like, oh, I was like, ugh, the vampire yeah. hunter episode. But, like, honestly... The true villain is the vampire <laughs> Yeah, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like in this season, there's ep- all the episodes are good. But, like, there are certain episodes that I have, like, like um, issues with. Yeah. Like, there's one thing I have an issue with. And so then I'm like, well, I don't like that episode. But it's like... I literally, I watch the show every day, so it's like, I clearly really like it, you know? Yeah. Anything else before we get into fit review? Um, I like that. Well, <laughs> there are more Rory, Rory moments, but yeah. it was still, like, him being cast aside. Yeah. Don't... I know it's for its own safety, but, like, I, we just want Rory all yeah, the time. Exactly. But, like, yeah, it's just sad to see Ethan always being like, uh, leave. You have to leave. <laughs> um... Doug just turning to a prank show. <laughs> oh, that's a bad joke. <laughs> we're still we're still in the bad joke section. Uh, yeah. So the whole like prank blasters, <laughs> yeah, prank blasters. that's like I think I, I'm pretty sure they made that intentionally cringy. Yeah, I really hope yeah. they did because if that was like yeah oh, yeah clearly they made it intentionally like really like like e like ugh, you know e. oh and then when he said like newbie tube. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, not to get punked by some dust convention. <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good, pretty good scene. We didn't even have a bad, we, did, we didn't even mention any of the um, insults that Ethan said in the bad joke section in the last episode. Oh, yeah. With the, uh, <laughs> well, that's true, because they weren't bad jokes. <laughs> I don't like the, don't get your fangs in a twist. I hate that one. But like the, <laughs> what, does the soccer team have no bloodsuckers policy? I was like, oh! <laughs> oh got him! Got him! Like that's a good that's a good roast. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like why like, and also because like what's his name? I, I'm just fully talking about the other episode now. Um, doesn't 
Craig. <laughs> What's his name? David. The werewolf. Doesn't he, like, want to date Sarah? He's, like, constantly being nice to her. Yeah, at the end, he's But like, she doesn't like him, yeah. so it's like... Yeah, at the end, he's like, yeah, I know you, um... You want to go on a date with me? <laughs> <laughs> he said something about the cure. He's like, you used it on someone else, but you wanted to use it for me. Yeah, you were willing to give the cure for me, so I want to I wanna thank you properly. And she's yeah. just like, nah, I'm she's okay. like, fetch! <laughs> yeah. Like, he, he goes after it, Borky. Yeah. <laughs> Fit review. review. Fit review. How do we feel about this Benny shirt? The first Benny shirt we get. It's red. It's red with a few white and green stripes. I hate mm -hmm. it. No. You do? I, don't I don't like it. I do you like, like it? it? I like it. Oh, okay. well, that's don't. fine. It's okay. <laughs> I'm not a big fan. I just like stripes. There's only like two stripes. I and... always like little stripes. But it's more of like it's a like graphic tee. It's like one big stripe. Well, that's true. Stripes. There's like some smaller stripes. You're right. I'm like sitting I'm at a weird I'm sure end. my brother has at yeah. one point owned Ethan's t-shirt. You know who? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> that's the shirt I don't the like. The orange Ethan's. shirt. <laughs> I don't like the orange. Once again, Rory is a coordinated K <laughs> with a C. Yeah, they're gray. He's wearing a gray graphic tee and the uh, gray, like, button-up. Flannel Like, thing. flannel thing. short sleeve flannel. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the, of, like, the graphic designs on Benny shirts. I feel like he should just be, like, in yeah, stripes. Just, just stripes. Yeah. But, like, like, I like the red. I like him in red. It's very Freddie Benson. Oh Not yeah, Freddy this Benson. is this is a this is like a Freddie Benson outfit. <laughs> is that why you don't like it? <laughs> this is not wearing like ten inch platforms. Oh yeah. You know how he had to wear he was wearing like platform shoes in the first season because <laughs> he, he was shorter than yeah. the rest of the Robert Downey Jr. on the set of Marvel. Yeah. <laughs> is that true? Yeah. Yeah. Really? There's like pictures of him wearing like chunky shoes because he was like shorter than <laughs> he everybody was shorter else. Than, like, he's like Chris the, Evans. Yeah, and... he's like the same height as Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh okay yeah. So they were like, nah, he has to be taller. Yeah. <laughs> Iron Man's tall. <laughs> and I'm like, it's it's okay if he's short. Yeah, literally. It's short, okay if they're the um, same height. <laughs> yeah. My mom found the keys. Oh, that's they good. They weren't here after all. <laughs> oh, that's great. That, uh, that's our B-plot of the episode. Earlier, <laughs> um, we were looking for my mom's keys to my house, my apartment. I was, like, getting the episode ready to play, and everyone was like, we're looking for keys! Yeah. We were actually cooking garlic bread. Oh, that's we true. Cooking... I, was making, I was making garlic yeah, bread. we were making garlic bread, and I was frantically searching for keys. <laughs> but we're, they've been found. <laughs> Yeah. You've got Wolverine's ah, groin. <laughs> that's a bad joke. That is a bad joke. Wolverine's groin. Yeah. Ethan has like he a only full on shrine in yeah. his room. Yeah, he mentions Wolverine's groin and no other action figure parts. Because he said, I made it out of other figures. And then that's yeah. it. The and groin. he doesn't mention like you had. And I made the hair. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I made the hair and the groin. <laughs> I got this. the groin from Wolverine. That, I bet um, Wolverine was Ethan's bisexual awakening. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yeah. Man. 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 Something man. Oh, I, I was like, um, I think uh, Doug is like Ethan's ideal man. Yeah, Yeah, because when he's talking peak to Sarah. The peak of masculinity. Well, yeah, because when he's talking to Sarah, he's like, his hair is awesome. <laughs> I was like, he's going in. Yeah. I was like, Matthew Eric... Knight as an actor, going off <laughs> on like his passion for this. Yeah. It's pretty funny. It was great. Uh, I wanted to talk about Sarah's pink and gray moment. Oh, yeah. She yeah. has well, a, she, She's well, very much like a t-shirt, tank top, layer girl. Yeah. yeah. She does that a lot. T-shirt, tank top, if she doesn't have a vest. A, if she doesn't have a vest, it's a tank top. Also, is she curling her hair yeah. every morning? You know yeah. what I would like to see? Um, Erica with, like, textured hair. Not Erica, I mean Sarah. Sarah with textured hair. That yeah. would be so nice. That would be awesome. If anyone has... Look, you get uh, Sarah, her natural hair. Yeah, literally. Yeah. If if anyone has drawn Sarah with textured curls, please send it my way. Send it over. <laughs> We'd my, like to see it. Send it to me on Tumblr. Like, on... <laughs> just send it to the Discord. Or just send it DM anywhere. me. Yeah, send it, please. <laughs> and I'll, I'll shout it out. Yeah. I'll put it in the video. <laughs> At me on Discord. Just like, hey, I found this. We need natural hair, Sarah. Yeah. I yes. 100% agree. Yes. I would love that. I feel like we, we're, we're... I feel like the outfits kind of evolve throughout the show. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's on purpose or not. I don't know if these are in production order at all or anything. Mm. But, like, in the beginning, we saw a lot of Erica with t-shirt, short... Uh, t-shirt tank tops. Yeah. And now we're seeing, like, Sarah with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, if I really wanted to get, like, English teacher analysis on it, Go off. it would be, like, she's slowly warming up to the idea of becoming a vampire. And that's why the curtains are blue. That's why the curtains are blue. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why it's a foggy day outside. <laughs> I won't, I, I don't think that's true at all. It's, they just, like, they're just, like, dressing them and, like, 
What's popular. Ran- yeah, random trendy clothing. Yeah. Yeah. It could be worse. It could be dressed like Disney Channel stars. Oh, oh yeah. God. I much prefer this over, like, the <laughs> Shake It Up outfit. Yes. I, yeah. I feel so bad what they did to Zendaya uh, and Bella Thorne. They, did, oh, they did my girl Zendaya and Bella Thorne so, so dirty in that show. So nasty. <laughs> at least these ones are just, like, they look like the mannequins at a Kmart. You yeah. know? Like, or like a Walmart, I guess. Like, yeah. they don't look that bad, you know? At least they didn't get the shake it up slash Jesse treatment. <laughs> yeah, where it's just, like, over-accessorizing. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. At least they're not dressed like Lil Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that tweet? No. Of, um, Jeanette McCurdy in iCarly. The way she was dressed. They was like, this is just how Lil Wayne dresses. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was, like, one of those button-up flannel long uh, short sleeves, like, Rory's wearing. Uh-huh, yeah. It was buttoned up, and then she had cargo shorts and Uggs. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> cargo shorts and Uggs. Ew. Yeah. And everyone's like, this is just how Lil Wayne dresses, yeah. <laughs> which is true. He does dress like that. And people want... <laughs> this is completely <laughs> off topic, but, like, they were saying that Future dresses like, uh, like, Christian Girl Autumn. <laughs> Have you seen that photo no. where they photoshopped Future into, like, a photo, of, like, a group photo of Christian Girl Autumn? Can you look that up for me? <laughs> Please look up Future Christian Girl Autumn. Okay. The matching fits. The matching fits. <laughs> we have to talk about the, yeah, the scare finder. Yeah. Like, um, Doug mentions that, I can't believe you made your own outfits. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, they're like, I can't believe we got to show up to school in the in the vamp camper. Vamp camper. <laughs> and he's like, I can't believe you guys had your own suits. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be the name for my car now, vamp camper. Yeah, we have the vamp camper. Yeah. <laughs> I, um... So it's like, it's like a, they have like the, the scare finder t-shirts, mm-hmm. but then it's like a, it's like a cargo vest. And everyone, Very utility. And everyone but Doug's is cropped. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he has, like, a normal length one. It's clearly, like, a costume. Yeah. Like, I bet they would sell, like, his outfit as a costume. Yeah. On, like, the website or whatever. <laughs> like, spirit. Yeah, so they would, like, go and buy him. Like Rory like looks like website. a mini Doug. He does. <laughs> with, like, the, the blonde hair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it reminds me of that. Do you guys remember that one uh, TikTok audio of the person, of, like, uh, that one person going like, park that big lamp truck in this little garage. And then, yeah. Garage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's. I'm that gonna need an edit of you that just, on you just my table. Me of that, uh, that one Keanu Reeves meme where it's like, yeah, size that's kind of it. <laughs> and then the small Keanu. Yeah. <laughs> I'm that's gonna need. I'm gonna need a meme like someone to make a TikTok with that sound with, with Doug and Rory. <laughs> I'm gonna need that on my desk by Friday. But, <laughs> Thank you. By the time this episode releases. I'm gonna need that on my desk. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. We could talk about the the LARPing outfits. And I feel like that's it. Yeah. After that we can cut you can cut it off. Okay. The LARPing outfits. We already mentioned the Snuggie. Yeah. (laughs) But um like I guess they're going for like a vampire dusk. Thing. Yeah, because he's wearing, because they have Benny playing a vampire. Yeah, Benny's, like, entering his bad boy phase. Yeah, with the leather jacket. <laughs> and his dark, dark makeup. Yeah, yeah, he's in, like, a greaser kind of look, I guess, yeah. is what they were going Where'd for. Where'd they get the makeup from? Yeah, you That's just, my like... question. It's, uh... Like, it's, whose is it? It's Ethan's. <laughs> Yeah, oh, absolutely. It, it has it hidden far away yeah. for LARPing purposes. Yeah, for LARPing purposes. <laughs> he pulls and... out. He pulls out like all of his like face paints, like ready. Yeah. And they're like, oh, oh, happies. Uh, oh my gosh! I completely forgot to mention the bad, the funny joke where uh, Benny was like, "I would hate to use my arcane magic on him <laughs> oh, yeah. to tear his soul from his mortal body." And Rory's like, "Too bad you're good at magic." <laughs> Too bad. It's like, too bad you're not good at magic. <laughs> He's like, good thing you're bad at magic. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Roasted. <laughs> and uh, Ethan is like a mechanic, I guess. So he's yeah. wearing like he's like a mechanic. Named Greg. <laughs> yeah, Greg. Greg. The werewolf. Mechanic with a good heart. <laughs> so I just love how cheap yeah. their costumes or LARPing costumes are. I mean, I know it was last minute because it's like. They don't actually LARP, although they do. Uh, <laughs> it was, like, last minute or whatever, so... They absolutely do LARP. They were waiting for this moment. Yeah. Also, this episode takes place before the cage, so they don't have the cage yet. It does? Yeah, because the cage was in episode 9. Oh, yeah! But we talked about that. Yeah, we keep forgetting that, <laughs> technically, that episode is later on in the show. Yeah, yeah. okay. So the cage hasn't existed yet. This yeah. just sparked their passion for LARP. Yeah. so much. <laughs> they ordered a cage. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I guess that's it for, unless you guys have any other fashion 
it bits in mind. Uh, I mean, is is Ethan's government assigned for Sona a wolf? <laughs> I guess. I, I, the... I would I would say that that his that is his his, his persona. Yeah. After the fourth episode, with yeah. David. Yeah. <laughs> After with David, he was like, "Yeah, I I, I know what it's like," because he literally was a werewolf. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Like, he's not like, even a week ago. He's yeah. like, man, this oh, felt good. Speaking of werewolves, whenever he tried using his seer powers on the werewolf. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! He tried using, yeah, he's like, werewolf claw, and it's like his seer ability. He's like, this is, this is like, fake. Wah, wah, yeah, it's like, wah, he would turn into a human who was cut, like, human hand if it was cut off. And, yeah. And on, just like, according to, him. I was like, mm-hmm. according to Wikipedia. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, Wikipedia. That's a dynamic I adore i absolutely <laughs> love the fact that it's like they're like oh my gosh we love watching this show because it's like he's hunting the supernatural because they like are constantly dealing they're like they, they are, they the, are supernatural. the super yeah <laughs> like and then the he... five reasons <laughs> yeah <laughs> the fifth one is benny's an idiot so yeah, which yeah. is true but um benny's an idiot who uses magic <laughs> yeah i just can't i just love it that he's like i'm the, the supernatural expert doug falconhawk and he shows up to this town and like they're all the ones who are actually yeah. the experts and he doesn't yeah. know anything because he just like he doesn't never actually he's just some dude yeah because <laughs> like um when benny was like you should spike it with vervain because it's a great vampire repellent or so i mean I've heard. Yeah, yeah i heard about that yeah <laughs> and then like yeah ethan was like this should have reverted back to its human form after it was cut off at least I read that on Wikipedia. Wikipedia. Yeah. Wikipedia. It's like they have to keep pretending yeah. that they're not, like, extreme experts in this, like, <laughs> that, field. That they're just like, uh, yeah, I just read a few articles one day. Yeah, even though, like, they have first-hand, like, experience <laughs> with it. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's very good. I, I, I like that. I, I do like the dynamics in this It's really episode. funny. It's like, yeah. it's a really funny thing to have. <laughs> so I guess is it for fashion review, fit review. Fit, fit review. review. Fit review over. Do we have any other thoughts? Any other thoughts? Um, <laughs> <laughs> We're only at like 40 minutes. I know. So God. We, we can keep chatting. Um, we, we like got through all of our thoughts so fast. I know. I mean, it's because of that bread. It's <laughs> that <laughs> bread. We got so much carbs that we're just like we're just zazzed. <laughs> we're zazzed right now. Um, I gotta pee. Oh, okay. Uh, so okay. you guys keep talking, okay? Don't pause it. Just keep okay. talking. Okay. <laughs> keep talking about the show. Oh, about the show? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Mm. So the Brony Convention. <laughs> the Brony Convention. God. Oh, yeah. Erica got an extra hour in the ball pit. Absolutely. Uh, Rory Kins Applejack. And... Oh, absolutely. <laughs> because he just relates to her so much and how she's treated in the fandom. Mm hmm. You know? Yeah. Not speaking from experience or anything. <laughs> I'm not speaking as a former app, former Applejack stan. <laughs> um, I really like this episode. It's one of my favorites, even though it's like the lowest rated apparently. <laughs> but it's just so good. It's so funny. It's like written good. Like it's, some parts are cringe, but like it's made to be cringe because they're making fun of like yeah. those ghost shows. <laughs> I so badly want a fan fiction of Rory and Erica going to conventions. Oh, absolutely. Because, oh, because Ethan is on the phone with Sarah and he's like, Benny's grandma. She's asking about Benny's grandma. Yeah, and Benny's grandma's at a, uh, summoning a demon. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> for a week. He's, she's like, Benny's grandma's at like a convention for the next week. Or however Wait, long it takes to summon a demon. Is Erica a Pegasister? Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Is her favorite rarity? <gasps> yeah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're gonna have a side episode that's just like <laughs> Our Kin series. assigning yeah. Rory and Erica to My Little Pony yeah, characters. The, um, my Little, the My Big Sitters of Vampire AU where Rory and Erica are in the My Little Pony universe. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Because there are vampire bat ponies. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Someone write this down. <laughs> hey, if anyone is still into My Little Pony, uh, please, please design. Yeah, there's a whole episode where Fluttershy turns into a vampire. Oh my gosh. I haven't watched My Little Pony in so long. <laughs> I, Your mind. Your brain. Your brain is <laughs> Absolutely <too> giant. <laughs> Steph, you better keep this in. <laughs> Steph please <laughs> but 
Um, um, but no, this was a funny, really funny episode. Yeah. This, yeah. Everything I believed it was a wig. <laughs> That's one of my favorite bits. <laughs> but, um... Or that and Benny finding out his last name isn't... What is... Oh, his... Doug's actual last name is Mikowski. Mikowski. And so when <laughs> Benny found out that his real name is Doug Mikowski, his mind shattered. His <laughs> it was heart great. Broke. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we should have like this is just like totally off topic of the episode, but like I feel like we should have like a section for like browsing fan creations, oh, I guess. Yeah, we, or we could have like a dedicated episode. Hi. Hi. We did, we did have a discussion. Yay. We did. It'll be a surprise. <laughs> yeah. It'll be a surprise when I have to go in and edit. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Basically, we're talking about how the show's, the episode written. I like it. Yeah, we thought it was funny and just yeah. mm-hmm, it's pointing just... out some of the more, like, the jokes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I do enjoy, um... I really enjoy the way Sarah was in this episode. Yeah. I guess, I feel like we should do character moments before we get into, like, fit review, but I forgot. Uh, <laughs> so, I, 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 could, I feel like I really like Sarah in this episode, yeah, because she's yeah. normally not, like, that, like, yeah. angry or, like, violent, yeah. I guess is the word. She said but she's because like, of the fake blood. Yeah, yeah, so, like, she normally wouldn't, like, lash out at Doug, like, you know, like, like... Yeah, because she, she was just, like, like, I don't done. care! And yeah. She, then she, she got all pissed. mad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she, she pissed, pissed at him. Like, she normally wouldn't do that. Yeah, that's like an Erica thing. Yeah, yeah. but she's, like, really hungry and not doing well, so <laughs> I appreciate seeing her, uh, yeah. Sarah like that. Like, yeah. her, like her just being, like, all, like, slow and angry because she's not getting out Yeah, the way she's on the phone and she's like, old rat biter Sarah. <laughs> I was like, that's And really then the funny. guy walking past, Shay said it looked like Owen Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you're like, wow. Wow. <laughs> and then, uh... Another, what was it? We need the a soundboard. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. For sure. the character moment where she just runs into Ethan's house and she's like, I, I need blood! blood. <laughs> it's like, that's really funny. Yeah. And he's like, Doug will hear you! And she's like, I don't care. Uh, it's, it's it's good to see a different side to yeah. Sarah. Yeah. She was really just feral this episode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unhinged. Unhinged, for sure. Just thinking about the finale. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about future episodes. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, um, I guess wow, we could. I'm so stressed. Oh. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> I wish my dad never boned oh, that lady, lady Kyle. I'm so, so stressed. stressed. The way you said it, I was like, I'm so stressed. I was, yeah, I was on purpose. <laughs> I had like kind of, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say the line, but I couldn't remember what emotion he used. <laughs> I'm Kyle, I'm so stressed. <laughs> yeah. We love Kyle and Kyle here. I was saying we need a soundboard yeah. so I can have some Kyle and Kyle sound, like yeah. some bits. Some Owen Wilson some, wow. Yeah, some Owen Wilson wow. And also just like some funny jokes from the, like uh, maybe Rory saying, ka chow. ka Or um, maybe Benny's Calabunga. <laughs> So I, I just need, like, a little soundboard so I can play that mm-hmm. while we talk. I feel like that'd be really funny. Is there any... Oh, I feel like there's, like, a lot of jokes we could... Is there anyways? Yeah. Um, is that it? Are we done talking, like, officially? Do you want to give into final thoughts sure. and ratings? Okay. Uh, who wants to go first? I can go first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll um, go after you. Okay. I, I... This is well known to be, like, a low-rated episode in, mm-hmm. in like, Mabab. Like, people are like, oh, the... The, the vampire hunter episode, eh, you know, like, what it's talked about. Like, it's not, like, a well-talked-about episode. Like, a lot of people talk about the Blood Drive episode, or they talk about, like, other episodes, you know? Yeah. But they never talk about this one. It's just, like, not... A forgotten. Yeah, it's kind of a forgotten episode. Yeah, yeah. But, considering we have so little of this show to work with, I <laughs> will take anything I can get. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I will appreciate every episode for what it is. Yeah. And... I really enjoy the dynamics in this one. Um, I like seeing the three of them just be like these extremely nerdy guys yeah. towards this show that they yeah. love. It's really funny just watching them watch it on TV. Oh, I guess like it's fun, like kind of juxtaposition. Kind of yeah. is because typically you associate real- reality TV with like trashy kind of yeah like yeah pop, like things like a stereotypical maybe like popular girl or someone yeah like, but they're these geeks these geeks who love reality <laughs> TV 
because it's like about ghost hunting and stuff yeah, yeah. like i feel like it was the parody and like the satire i guess is the term yeah. was really on point mm-hmm. of kind of like making fun of how like they don't do anything in these shows yeah they'd be like we're gonna find a ghost and yeah. then it's like we didn't find a ghost but <laughs> like finding bigfoot then... yeah. yeah oh yeah i was like, a finding, for sure i was a finding bigfoot and ghost adventure stance so yeah. like <laughs> and like in most of the episodes they don't even do anything yeah. yeah like what was that one hunting hitler show what do you guys not know about this I, no. yeah you know about this yeah there was a show <laughs> where there the theory it's this is an actual tv show with like multiple episodes oh my god where they thought that hitler was still alive and that he didn't he didn't die that he was hiding somewhere oh. and so they were trying to <laughs> find hitler Wow. And every and of course because he's dead, yeah. <laughs> they could they would know, every episode would be like we didn't find him, but I think we're close to finding Hitler, and it's like, yeah, oh, I and also it. it was like ten years ago, yeah. so he would be like not alive. Yeah, yeah. he would he would be dead anyways because he'd be like very old. He'd be mm-hmm. like he'd have the suds. Yeah, he would just be <laughs> he like would be Prince Philip. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So and it's like, yeah. like I remember this other documentary where I guess it was like a descendant of H. H. Holmes. Yeah. Was like, uh, I think H.H. H. Holmes was actually Jack the Ripper. Yeah, I remember that. I remember it. hearing that. Yeah, and you're just like... And we're like, okay, if we can ex- um, exhume H.H. Yeah. H. Holmes' grave to see if he... And it's like, you can't tamper with evidence because you have some weird crack theory, my guy. <laughs> so yeah, like, reality TV shows either for like, the, like the trashy, like kardashian kind of yeah thing, or conspiracy theorists yeah <laughs> it's like they're all they're all kind of like low brow Cracked television <laughs> yeah and i appreciate the satire of like realizing you know of like them recognizing and, like, it the fanatics for those shows yeah yeah i like yeah. the um, i like it when shows do stuff like that so sorry to interrupt your rating no it's good i'm glad i, I i'm okay <laughs> with it it's all good i really enjoy i really enjoy this episode yeah um I enjoy all the episodes. I, I'm going to say that for every episode, but, like, <laughs> I could talk bad about, you know, certain parts, clearly. I know, I've gotten very mad previously. <laughs> but to give this one a rating, I probably won't rate it as high as the other ones. I'll probably, even though I really, really like it, I'll probably rate it a 2.5 biscottis that Rory gets. <laughs> Or Danish is, I guess, because he didn't even find the biscotti. Yeah. He's like, the best I could find was a Danish. Danish, yeah. <laughs> but two out of five biscottis. Yeah. yeah. Two out of two, two point five biscottis out of five. Yeah. So yeah. I remember watching this episode, I think when we're at your house for Thanksgiving. No. For some, for your birthday or something. Like it was something. some holiday. Some, something. It was yes. like some party, but it was us I three. Was, we, we, I was, there was a party at my house and, and us three were, were here. And you were having us watch random episodes. I think just going down like the list. Yeah, I was just skimming through and I was like, let's skip yeah. the vampire ghost car yeah. episode. And this is one of the ones you played and yeah. I remember going on in the background. But now I've been able to fully internalize it. <laughs> yeah. And I think it's very Absorb fun. Absorb it. Yeah. And I like it. So well, I'll give it um, a three... Oh, not three. Um, three and a half, maybe four, um, out of five fake mullet wigs. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I like this episode a lot, too. I, I'm going to have to say it's one of my favorites. Yeah. Pro- possibly besides the blood drive, which we will get to. We eventually. will talk about. I, I'm so but, sad that we have to delay it, but yeah. we'll talk about it. If but someone can't I, stop breathing. Yeah. <laughs> I like how this one is made, just like the satire stuff was saying and stuff like that. Just like the, just, yeah. <laughs> um, they had a lot of good character moments, especially with unhinged Sarah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if you're a big like Sarah and even like Erica kind of like Stan. Yeah. This one's a really fun one to watch. Yes, if you're a Rory Stan too, this one's oh, also. Oh yeah, a good one. there's actually some Rory moments. Yeah, which is great. So I'm gonna give this one. Maybe a four, possibly. Yeah, I'm gonna give this one a four. Um, pink snuggie blankets <laughs> out of five. <laughs> this is the first four out of five that we're getting. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it technically, wouldn't have been because I definitely would rate the Blood Drive episode a five out of five. Spoiler <laughs> alert, Craig. <laughs> Craig Cover yours. Craig. <laughs> I'll probably cut that out as to keep the mystery. Yeah. But I'm gonna do a cold close. No I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Thank you for listening. Wait. Yeah, thank you. Keep going. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for listening to the. Just... Van- 
thank you for listening to the Vampy Wampy Campy Pampy podcast. Your quampies and maybe we'll amp. I would love to do an answer, like a like an uh, an uh, actual Q and A. Yeah, yeah. A, an actual quampy and ampy. So I'm campy. I'm vampy. And I'm wampy. <laughs> and this has been the. VWCPP. <laughs> VWCPP. Oh yeah, we have to. Uh, you have to unpitch your tents and everything. Oh yeah, make sure to uh, make sure to, to take down your tent and yeah, put out your clean, fire. Clean up your campsite, or else Smokey the Vampire Hunter will come after you. <laughs> Perfect. Smokey the, the Vampire <laughs> Hunter <laughs> with a fake mullet wig. Yeah. yeah. With okay. His fake oh my gosh, wig. Smokey the Bear with a mullet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, late. 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 <laughs> I hate this. Can you drop it on the on the mic? Where's the mic? I think it's it's right here. <laughs> Not that like slap. I wonder how it sounds. Oh, there was, there was a large. We were cl- we were clipping there. <laughs> Microphone piece. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's it. Okay, okay. Bye. bye. Late. I feel like we should end with late. I don't oh, know why. Vamp oh, camper. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Make sure to head out in the vamp camper. Late. Bye.